Hi, I'm Mark, and this is my journey through tarot. Come on. So, I don't know, it just seemed like a good time to start looking at the wives and the ex-wives. So, I thought today would be good uh, for Vanessa Trump. I don't know if she's taken her maiden name of Hayden back, but Vanessa Trump, Donnie Jr.'s uh, fresh new ex-wife, uh, and you know now he's dating uh, or living with uh, the Kimberly Guilfoyle, I believe it is. So, this will be uh, Vanessa Trump, Vanessa Trump, ex-wife, mother of five of Donnie Jr.'s kids. So, let's take a look. Okay, Vanessa K. Trump, uh, maiden name uh, Pergo Pergoliza. Pergoliza, oh, that's nice. So Vanessa K. Trump, her maiden name was Pergoliza, and later Hayden. I think the family changed their family name somehow, or maybe she took the uh, oh she took the last name of her stepfather. So there we go. She was born on December eighteenth, nineteen seventy-seven. She's a Sagittarius, and she was born in New York. Now she grew up in a townhouse on the Upper East Side of Manhattan and attended private school. I'm sure all that was thanks to the stepfather. Uh, her father was of Austrian Russian Jewish descent, so Austrian Jews, Russian Jews, all mixed together. That was her dad. Now her stepfather, so her dad would have been Perg Pergoliza, Pergoliza. Now her stepfather was um, Charles Hayden. Okay, so sometimes he was referred to as her father, as a matter of fact, and he was a lawyer with clients like Marilyn Monroe and Broadway producer uh, Abe Hirschfeld. Huh. So her mother was Bonnie K. Hayden, and she ran the K Models Agency. Don't know. And then um, she was a model herself in her teens and the 20s and signed to Wilhelmina Models. So it had to be pretty good. Now, 1998 to 2001, she dated a Saudi prince. Here's that name. She dated a Saudi prince. I guess this is his name, Khalid, Khalid Bon Bandar bin Sultan Al Saudi, hmm. uh, whose father was the Saudi ambassador and suspected of having indirect ties to the um, Al Qaeda hijackers of 9 11, as a matter of fact. But in 2003, she and her sister Veronica opened a nightclub called Sessa. I guess that was New York. In uh, 2003, she was an actress. She appeared in a scene of, a of the film, Something's Gotta Give. Okay, now Trump Jr. proposed to her with a $100,000 ring that he received as a gift from a jeweler in exchange for proposing in front so, of his shop so that the paparazzi could take pictures in uh, a New Jersey mall. <laughs> okay, so in 2005, though, she married uh, DJ Jr. at uh, Mar-a-Lago. was officiated by her aunt, who was Judge Marianne uh, Trump Barry. And then uh, together they have five children. 2010 to 2013, she released a line of handbags called La Poche. Hmm. And then uh, 2011, she appear appeared in an episode of The Apprentice, hosted by uh, father-in-law, Donald Trump. Now, 2018, she divorced DJT Jr. and uh, filed in New York for uncontested divorce, but in fact, it was contested. Then after uh, they resolved the child custody issue, it was all settled. So that is the story uh, with uh, her just on the surface. Okay, so this is the Connolly Tarot by Peter Paul Conn Connolly and Eileen Connolly. And this is, this is actually a son and a mother who did these cards, but these are very nice cards. to use all of them a lot. And uh, so the Connollys, um, as a matter of fact, the mother's a PhD and is into parapsychology and all sort of things, uh, spiritual. Um, and then, so she kind of conceived of this thing. Then she got her son, uh, who was born in 1964, but I guess by then he was a teenager. But she got him to design the cards, and uh, he's an artist today. So that's Peter Paul Collin. So, so these are pretty interesting cards. I love them. Let me show you how they look. They've just got so much color in them. Apparently he... Uh, sketch these out with colored pencils uh, before they became finished works of art. And I guess they're hanging in galleries somewhere on the West Coast, if I'm, if I'm not mistaken. So there you go. So these are beautiful. I love these cards. I mean, they're everything uh, you want to see in a typical, easy to read uh, tarot card. And I put them out like this so that you can take a look at them too. You know, everybody likes to see something different. And uh, maybe you haven't seen these cards laid out like that before. But um, that's those folks, the Connollys. So we'll see what's going to happen for Vanessa Trump. So very interesting person, this Vanessa Trump. 
newly divorced. Apparently complained a lot that Donnie was cheap, cheap, cheap. So the guy who sold the act of proposing to you in front of a jewelry store to get a hundred thousand dollar ring, that didn't give you a clue. Um, I don't know. I guess hindsight is twenty twenty, isn't it? So, and uh, then there was the anthrax thing. She got there was an envelope delivered. I don't know if it's to the home or something, but she opened it up and they didn't know what the powder was. It's probably cocaine. Uh, just kidding, but I guess they had it analyzed and it was not anthrax. So yeah, she's kind of been through it with uh, with this guy. Twelve years of marriage, and she did her, did her time. And I wonder if she came out with anything. I don't know. So Vanessa Trump, does she? Let's do it like this. Does she know anything to contribute to this investigation? And will she? So we're going to break up that Diana Cross, uh, that Celtic Cross. First part, the first six cards will be, um, does she know anything that will contribute to uh, her ex-husband's downfall? Does she know anything that will contribute to her ex-husband's downfall? And then the second part will be, will she actually testify against him? So we're going to do six cards first. For that first question, uh, does she know things that would contribute to his uh, conviction? One, two, three, four, five, and six. Okay, let's see how this goes. So Vanessa Trump, does she know anything that will contribute to uh, Donnie Jr.'s downfall? Signifier card for that is the two of wands two of wands so this speaks to uh, planning um let's just leave it at that the two of wands speaks to planning usually short-term plans and uh so uh, wands are action and things uh happening so uh, whatever this is it could be uh, her plans for the future it could be uh, this new life that she started out without him uh, but the question i asked was does she know does she know of uh, things that would contribute to his downfall. And we got this to two of wands, which uh, is symbolic of some sort of uh, ideas uh, moving forward. Uh, the um, challenge to that then is the chariot. Things moving forward rapidly. That's what the chariot's all about. Things moving forward rapidly. So the challenge, so planning, two of wands, things happening. Let's go another card. So for the uh, base of this reading then, uh, we're going to have strength. Hmm. I mean, it's an obvious card to have. Uh, you would think uh, if she's thinking of doing this, that's going to uh, take a woman who's willing, I mean, really going to put up with a lot if she does it. Huh. So the basis of this reading then was strength. So she must have finally uh, pulled together her strength to separate herself from this uh, family. And why would she do that? She said in the end it was because he was cheap. And so I guess the strain of realizing there's no real money there, just whatever you can uh, grift off of a deal here and there, uh, made her strong. And then finally, after 12 years, cleared up her, her sight. I don't know. And the recent past for this is the King of Wands. And so I think that's... I think that's Donnie. I think in the recent recent past, uh, you know, Donnie was the uh, deal maker who maybe uh, brought home some scraps uh, for the family. In the sky of this reading, then, is the Page of Swords. So Page of Swords in the sky is really uh, rules and bringing the idea of uh, some justice to the plate. Hmm. This isn't really leaning into the question like I hoped it would. And then the likely outcome for this first part of this is the Queen of Pentacles. So she's got some value. She does have something there. It looks like she just wanted to tell this story to fight before she finally said, yeah, I've got a little something to give up, to give up here. So let's look at the self, but in the regard of, um, will she, will she actually do something to contribute to his downfall? So four cards. First one for that is going to be right off the top. Oh, wow. Okay, so this is the Nine of Wands. Nine of Wands is lots, I mean, really haven't been through the battle. I would imagine after she got through that divorce, she's probably pretty whipped. Um, but she has learned how to, to get her uh, fight uh, organized, and she might be willing to step through that door. So the signifier of that um, isn't sure. Uh, the environment of the Queen of Swords, the truth. It's the environment of the truth. 
the hopes and the fears in front of this uh, is the um, nine of swords, and that's a nightmare. So the fear is that this whole thing will just be, you know, such a complicated mess. And then the final outcome is going to be uh, the four of coin. And the four coins is, you know, just really trying to hang on, keep everything stable. So I don't know. I don't know. It's not clear that she would. It may be too much a trouble that it's worth, and she may not have enough to contribute to make it worth her while. So this says, this does not say yes, so I'm going to say this says probably not. So, yeah, the way that came out, it's just not very certain. It looks like she's got information she's got some value there with that queen of wands uh, in the likely outcome of the first part of the draw but then um although she's got uh truth on her side it looks like it'll be a nightmare if she does it and she's really just trying to hang on so i kind of think not i'm mark my journey through tarot tomorrow's another day stop by we'll do it again ciao for now